All right, g'day everyone, Rising Fun Gaming here. Welcome to another episode. Now, before we get started here, I've got a few things I need to tell you guys about. Some good news and some bad news, lol. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, in the last episode, we left you on the big old cliffhanger. We were just about to get in on the Lavazioth fight. And I said, <laughs> I said that I had cool drinks, but it turned out I didn't. So that required me to go back to town and start again. The other big thing that happened, well, the first thing was not big compared to this. Um, I've gone ahead and done about four monster fights from that point in time for the Let's Play. But unfortunately, we screwed up the recording because... There was no audio, game audio. So, what you're looking at now is me going back in time on an expedition to hunt the mystery monsters that we totally don't know exist at this point in the Let's Play. Cough, cough. And we have to redo them. Alright. So, in the interim, we have gotten a cool drink. That's good. Um, and we've also made a new bow. This one actually has water element on it, which is going to be interesting. Especially with the new mechanics of our dear friend from the past, Lavazia. And he should be around here somewhere. So interestingly, when he pops up his little head, he's got um, sort of this mechanic that Agnactor has. With a hardened body and a softened body. You can see him right now. He's all glowy and stuff. So areas of his body, for like his head, his legs, his back tail area, and I don't know if there's anywhere else, they'll have a nice glowy red to them when he's um, swimming through the lava and whatnot. And that means they're soft, and your attacks will not bounce on him if you're a melee, and they'll probably be better otherwise for ranged. But as he fights above ground in that, he uh, gets hardened. And what is also crazy is my water element on this bow will also do that, I believe. But if I could just quickly show you something. Ooh. I might flash him. Okay. I'll show you something really cool when we get to the hunter notes. This is all very exciting. I like how they've sort of remixed him a little bit. Sure, blind boy saw me. He knew where to spit. Good on ya. Um, quickly, Lavazia. Let me do it, let me do it, let me do it. This is... <laughs> okay. I chose a bad thing to do in life. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Is that enough running? Please let that be enough running. I really want to show you guys this. Okay. Boop. There he is. So you see that his water resistance is 3 or 2 when he's hardened. So water's still pretty effective nonetheless, so that's why we're going with it. I probably wouldn't go for a water element melee weapon. Because that would just be frustrating. But you could also see the uh, how fire's effective as well. Because what fire does, if you use fire element, and we totally could have held on to the Rathalos um, weapon we were using last time. But it'll uh, it'll soften the hardened spots, much like you could do with um, Agnactor, who's not in this game, unfortunately. So that's cool, eh? Pretty neat. Apart from that, this guy has got a host of new moves that we'll see. Keeps things very interesting. Okay, we'll finally put on these power coats because we failed to before. Let's get a dragon piercer going. Ooh, love it. Oh, yeah, so he does a similar thing to what Durotodus does, doesn't he? He kind of spins underneath the surface and then he'll do that big rising uppercut 
I wasn't sure if that was one of his moves, but we now know. Oh. And he has that big wind up lava missile that he does, which explodes on impact. Massive damage. This could be me. This could be me. Two max potions already. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, at this point, we probably want to. I don't know. Get a flash on him. And um, hopefully. That'll set it all him down. I don't think it's gonna. Yep. He's still gonna have some sort of mystical, magical ability to know where to attack me. Despite being blinded. It happens too often in this game for it to be a coincidence. Um, mm, I'm in trouble. Whoop. So we're gonna have to play it really careful. More than I thought I would have had to. Blindness, for the most part, seems to be a waste of freaking time. Bastard. Get out. Oh, don't explode on me. That could have exploded on me from behind if we didn't dodge. Get it. Oh, 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 oh. Just get greedy and get another one there. Go on. Treat yourself. Don't do another one, because that's too greedy. Oh no! No! Oof, good dodge. <laughs> oh, I've been burnt literally too many times from that attack. Okay, maybe a shock trap. Oh, is that a shiny? Get it! Oh, he's gonna upcut me. Yeah, I wasn't sure how far away he could do it. Move swiftly. Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. Okay. Oh, where's that? Yeah, it's up here. <laughs> oh, he Curved into it too, as he's wont to do. Alright, taking all the risks with this one. Caught him. Man, he is really handing it to me. Well, I'd rather that than a boring fight. Okay. Just when you think that's gonna end, keeps going. Get out. Move forward. Power. Get out before you burn. Oh, right into it. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh my god, so many close calls. I cannot believe we're still alive. Uh -oh. What's he want? He wants this trap. That's what he wants. Don't do it. Don't do it, Dad. <laughs> he came up straight into it. Okay, we'll do a double charge one, and then we'll do a sneaky zero charge one. Oh, I just can't get away with anything with you. Every single risk I take. Punished religiously. Look, he'll spit on me again, won't he? Oh, thank God. <laughs> Starting to lose my sanity here. Oi, 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 you stay over there. Now, you gonna go down or what? Whoop, whoop. Risk, risk, risk. Yeah. Stopped him. Trouble is, we're making him super soft. I kind of want him to go down. Maybe I should lure him down here. Possible that he might find it a bit more attractive to go under. Oh good, he's doing it. 
he's under and he's soft. Oh, oh get out! <laughs> By the time I realised, damn it. I love that geyser, it's so cool. The backstep into the dragon piercer. Oh, what a play. What a play. Oh man, I keep forgetting to use mantles. Top us up, gravy. Whoa. Gives a little bit of attack. That looks like some Uragan nuggets for me. Oh. Thank you, Mantle. Oh, what a combo. Sexy. Two power guys left. Risk, 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 risk. I'm all about the risk. Damn it. <laughs> Quite a strange turn. Oh, that was dumb. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Nah, couldn't move it any more. Okay, what other tools do I have at my disposal? Not much. I have to check if I've got combines for uh, power. Stay, 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 stay. No, no, yes, no. Hmm. Shoot, big one. Oh. Eat this. Another one. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Wow. Got the limp, eh? Big one. What the? Oh, the guys that does damage? Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't know that. Almost. You out of here, boy? Oh, I accidentally took off the Cody. Oh crap. I like how hitting them in the middle of their getaway inspires them to stay for a fight pretty commonly in this game. The monsters would just stop at nothing to run away pretty much in some of the previous games. It didn't kind of annoy them enough to coax them into sticking around. Oh crap. Mm. Just the explosion, the AoE on those, and the lack of ability to react in time is some of his deadly Oh, it's in his arsenal. That makes him really deadly. I think I English shake her there. I should just let him slay it. I think I've just got him too riled up at this stage, yeah. This isn't gonna work. I really wanna... Oh, he doesn't dive into that one. Yeah, like when he dives up there, I would absolutely love the flash in midair. Close range coding. <laughs> Got him. Okay, that's one down. Now I'm a little bit scared because this is an expedition. We're probably 
we'll get unlucky with the Dodogama, but I guess we'll try. I guess we'll try to get him. No, my lucky will run away. Oh, and there's some prints back there too. Get him. There he is. Good. Alright Dodo, are you gonna are you gonna stick around for the whole fight? I'd appreciate it, man. Flinched him out of the room, huh? Ooh. Not the biggest boy, but he packs a big punch. He'll um chew up rocks, he'll mix it in with his I think he's got some sort of special chemical in his saliva and he makes them into blast rocks or pop rocks as I like to call them <laughs> and he can spit them at you and they hurt a whole bunch and they do have a big AOE and spit multiple ones as we'll see throughout the fight no doubt the cool thing is whilst he's having a bit of a mix in his mouth there you can also if you land enough damage on it you can explode it and he'll sustain like 100 or so damage. It's really good to use um, ranged against him. But at the same time, I wanted to choose Longsword for this fight because... I don't know, I felt like it. <laughs> and we've done bow twice in a row. Mix it up, mix it up. There we go, 120 blast damage. We used these blast drops against him. Oof. It's where Lavazioth and him get me, it's just like, you're just completing an action and he'll do a big AOE. By the time you react, you just can't. <laughs> he does have a severable tail, so um, that'll be something I'll we'll work on here. Hmm. I didn't know that lava attack that he just uh, did. I haven't seen that. And I think I'm on blast, so... You gotta keep your eye on your uh, status, because that blast is super dev, super devastating. What we want is to find stone, hopefully. <laughs> Gravy just exploded. Uh, because we can shoot a crystal down on him, potentially. If he hasn't moved, he hasn't. I think this is where we want him. So if he would just oblige me, don't think he will. Bugger. Maybe if I send a poo that way, what are you doing, bugs? He might come back. I'm not sure. Try it. If not, we'll just have to uh, forfeit that for now. Oh, maybe he'll just be a very good boy. Alright, we need to find those stones again, because we've lost them, having to put the dung pot on. Actually, I wonder if the dung pod would... Oh, he's going here. Um, what do? Do it again, question mark. I really, I love that. I love that move. Oh yeah, and by the way, he's not the only one that has blast. This Zora sword plus the Zora chest is going to work together for very nice blast props. I don't know if he's afforded... No, I don't think he's afforded any protection against blast. It's a, it's a set amount of damage, generally speaking. Yeah, that move there is so funny. 
Let's see if we can land a helm split up. Did he did it explode his rock? Doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, it might have. <laughs> you're so rude with that. Gravy, you're a legend. That's a cool move. I don't remember that one. Let's see what red shiner he drops. Slinger bomb. Okay, that might be handy because we can. Oh what? We can flinch him. Give me time to sharpen. Hopefully. Don't know what happened with the ground underneath my feet there. Oh, he's got the limps already. This isn't a this isn't a particularly strong sword, but I guess that's testament to the fact that he's bottom of the food chain in this particular map. All right. Well, yeah, I think we've uh we've gotten pretty pretty lucky with him on this occasion, but he does have some very very high blast or burst damage potential. Oh, if we're lucky, we might get this um. We might actually get this after all. That'd be epic. Come on, shake it off, shake it off. And if it procs the blast in his mouth, even better. Now, I th think we're doing this right. Is it above him? Looks like it. Ice asleep. <laughs> Oi. No, don't, no, don't, please. You, well, you know what you get for doing that? One of those. And one of those. <laughs> Unfortunately, couldn't get Dodo in there. Well, by hook or by crook, we will get this guy. Oh, I'm blast, I'm blast, I'm blast, I'm blast. Get out of here. Try that again. Well, I'm glad someone took a couple of crystals. I'm glad someone did. Alright, Dodo. Please don't run away. We need to kill you. Don't leave the area. The time for you to die oh, is soon. I wonder if I've got a pitfall. Do not. A blast again. <laughs> They're fighting. In before Urigan kills him. Good on ya! Attack Oregon! You can ignore me, that suits me very well. Man, I kinda... kinda wanna go back to camp and get a trap and cap him. This Dodo's actually my friend. Whoa! <laughs> Just that thud. Time to bring the anime. Got him. Man, Uragan, please. I'm busy. Have all the poo. Have all the poo. Please. I want to finish the episode. You're not conducive to this. Anyway, that's gonna do. We've... We've, finger quotes, discovered all the new monsters in this map. So at this point... We're going to uh, cut to a cutscene, I think, for the new episode, which will continue the story. There's a good thing. It's a good thing that there's a gallery in this game. We can go back and um, patch together the failures of my recording. Um, so it's going to all work out. It's all going to work out. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. 
think it was pretty entertaining. I had fun. I reckon you had fun too. It's going to do, guys. We'll catch you in the next episode. We'll catch up on the story, what happens when you discover all the monsters down here. So look forward to that. Till then, it's goodbye for now.